Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. These two conferences have been tied together for years through the Sugar Bowl. A little testiness with the whole Texas-Oklahoma thing. And now the rivalry on the field between the Big 12 and the SEC. Yeah, and conference realignments played a big factor, too, between these two conferences. Think back to when Texas A&M and Missouri joined the SEC. So this is always a fun one to watch, David. Wide open offense from the Big 12. And then you get the physicality and the speed from the SEC. I think you nailed it right there. Two totally different worlds. They live in different worlds all the time. One is, is pitchy, pitchy. Woo woo, throw it around all over the yard. The other one, physicality. Which style can present itself today and win the ball game? They'll leave it with the lone back. Few things on offense as reliable as a tough power back as he plows his way ahead to the 33. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. They stop him cold, but maybe gets a yard to the 34. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. That is how it's done on third down. No doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind. But listen, you give up the run, they get a short little gain. No harm, no foul. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Extending the play. He's going to run it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Sun Devils are rolling down the field. They go to the draw. Sweet feet on the move. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Leaves it with the running back. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. And the Sun Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. Here's the handoff. Just sledgehammering his way down to the 33. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Three snap motion in the backfield. He's looking for a man on second down. That pass is incomplete. Not seeing a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that play. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Using his feet to buy time. He'll try to do it himself. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Offense working from the pistol. Man, that used to just drive me nuts. I couldn't stand that. The quarterback drops back to pass, scrambles around. You got me chasing you all over the field, getting close to the sideline. Stay in bounds. Please stay in bounds. Let me get a little bit of a reward for all my running so I can just put some kind of hit on him. Nope. Steps out of bounds. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And that ball is picked off. Trying to take it back. He's at the 40. The 20. And he will roll and... They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll go right back to him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. Still looking on the move. Nothing open downfield, so he'll just toss it away. A nice job by the quarterback there. You're outside the pocket. Nobody's open, so you throw the ball away knowing that you still have more chances to get this first down. On second down, wants to throw it. Skips away from pressure. It's incomplete. Good job by the defense sticking with its coverage. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, and you don't see that off the point, right? This guy... Running back searching for a hole. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Got three on first down and second and seven. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Sherman. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. The Sun Devils want to move quickly. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out quickly. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. He's looking to throw. Scrambling away. He throws one to the left. Hits him inside the 20. Still going. Just what they were looking for. A huge explosive play there inside the 15. From the red zone, looking for a man. Quick strike complete. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. On second down, he'll fire. It's complete! He stopped almost immediately. He didn't get much, but he didn't need much. They've got the first down. Looking to throw. Unleashes to the end zone. And he's got it. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. They'll throw it on first down. Firing to the right, complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Wants to throw on first down. Makes the catch. It's flat. This senior quarterback knows how to take a hit and still deliver a completion. Looking to throw on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21. But this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires deep for the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Sun Devils! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement. And like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. 
Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Quickly complete. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. He finds his man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And the Sun Devils will snap it on first and ten. Quarterback will audible. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Snagged in the middle. It's Brown. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what's going on. Don't see, don't see. <laughs> the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. After the setback, the offense gets set for a first and 15. Getting some heat. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. I like the decision there in the RPO game, too, guys. I know only only got a couple of yards, but that play's going to open up bigger opportunities throwing the football down the field in the RPO game, too. So keep handing it off to this guy. Let him see what he can do. And when the defense gives you the look to tuck and hold the football and then finally throw it, that's when you take it. The Sun Devils are on the move. Fantastic job there buying time and then using his speed to go get a huge chunk play. You saw on defense a lot of people in the back end with their heads turned around chasing receivers. It's dangerous. You want to play man coverage. You don't want to keep your eyes on the quarterback. You're going to pay for it. You saw it right there. After the misfire, now on second down. Off the play fake. They're working that left side. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. New set of downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And I got to find ways to manufacture some offense down here in this area. The field shrinks. It gets a little bit more difficult. So I got I to take a few more chances, get the ball to some speed on the perimeter, try to make some big plays. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And they've moved their way down, but still they need two more yards. Can they bang it in with the running game on third down? He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, if I'm quarterback right now... They'll run it from the gun. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught, it's Brown. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Line getting set on second down. Quarterback checking the play. On second down, looking again to throw. Feeling some heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he'll be brought down. Now facing a third and long. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this one. Ball marked at the 26. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Moving. Keeping the eyes downfield. 
And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This has been a tight one. Third quarter all tied up. It's now second and ten. The play action fake. Grab behind the line. It's Sherman. And this one will be stopped for no gain. the end of the third quarter and we have a potential classic on our hands all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. Looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You know, the tight end's going to have to do... The give to the left. Running with power. And every coach in America has a plan for this situation. The first four minutes of the game, the last four minutes of the game. How I'm going to construct my offense. Most of the time, i got to be physical. Run the football like right here. Run that clock. Get a few first downs, and I can end this football game on offense. Got his man quickly. The offense pops it up, and they were on the move. Man, this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. Off play action. Looking to scramble. Outside the pocket. Let's it go. Makes the grab. He finally goes out of bounds First after the explosive play, but now the question is, did the official see something to bring it back? So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. And that's really nice offensively because you're in the red zone. You do have an opportunity to add to your lead here, but you're staying in bounds. I think the clock right now is the most important thing. How can we keep this thing ticking away? By going down in bounds, you're doing exactly that. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Well, they've got the lead. The defense just did their part, getting a takeaway. So now if you're on offense, you want to run the ball and take as much time as possible between snaps. Stay in bounds and let this clock tick away. Steps away to find some room. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out. But when things break down, they get off schedule. You've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. He's looking to throw on third and short. Grab near the marker. It's Brown. Touchdown, Arizona State. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. That's his third touchdown pass of the day the defense has no clue how to respond right now no and the defense has had absolutely no answer he's been on the money he's been on fire making the right decisions and just carving this defense up Here comes the two-point try. They'll go to the air. Tight end finds a soft spot. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead.
give to Brown. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the gun, the ground game. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. And they fail to hook up on third down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football, maybe? Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Leaves it with the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Looking back on it, this game probably falls precisely into the definition of a trap game. Trap was set, sprung, and the underdogs come up with the win. And that's why we go, you know what? I don't take your rankings. I'm not worried about your rankings. They don't matter to me. We're going to go out and beat this team. We're better than this team. A lot of times those rankings don't mean a lot to a lot of people. And you can tell it didn't mean a lot to this team. And that's why they came out and pulled the upset. Absolutely, David. I mean, that's why you play the games. This team knew they had to come out. They were going to have to put their best foot forward in order to get the W. They did just that. They're talented. They're obviously motivated. I can't wait to see how they follow this up in their next game. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. sitting going to set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and home to the running rebels of UNLV. 
There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils, taking on a team recharged after a much-needed bye week, the UNLV Rebels, 48 Sports College Football. They'll run it. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. It's complete to the left. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Able to pick up a couple on that last when it's second and eight from their own 27. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. play action on first down quarterback on the move still looking it'll be incomplete tried to extend the play but just couldn't find anybody open this should be the last play of the quarter and i think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback you want to find the right guy to throw to obviously i just i didn't think he was the right guy i didn't think he was really that open and listen he sailed and he overthrew i might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit better. guys that's the end of the quarter and unlv has the edge they wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Spits it out to the back. Grab near the sticks. It's Brown. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And the Sun Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Hands it off. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking. They've got it up to the 47-yard line. Let it bust for a long run. Now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. There to make the stop, but they use the back in the passing game and pick up the first down. The Sun Devils are on the move. They go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. He wants to pass it on second down. He's going to take off. At the 35, he's loose. Ball is loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Everything broke down. The quarterback tried. Power football with the run. 
And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. Now it's just going to be a passing game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass, using his legs to buy some time. He'll turn it loose out to the right. And they wanted it all on third down, but now... They're going to open this drive with a pass. He'll pull it down. Still running at the 40. And he can't hold on to the ball at the end of this big game. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense... They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Fires to the right. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. On third down, he drops to throw. He's got it. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Sun Devils racing to the line in the hurry up. Trying to find his man on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Got it on the outside. It's Brown. Last half full, of glass half empty, guys. Obviously, great. They got a completion. I'm sure that over incompletions or interceptions. The glass half empty. I mean, they made that third down a bit more manageable, but not that much. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as they get him down at the 37. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He's going to pass on. Let's it fly deep to the end zone. And it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The teams that play cover one at an elite level have an elite guy in the... They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down. Fires to the big fella. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Quarterback extends the play. He'll pull it down and run. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Going to try to get it himself. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Sun Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. The offense set for a first down play. 
They'll give it to the back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? They'll try the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the... The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Sun Devils come to the line in the hurry up. On second down, he'll let it fly. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that's open. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. He leaves it with the back. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. And they are starting to pull away as we come to...